All right. This is a voltage drop question that where you have to calculate the maximum length of run between the load and the distribution center for a 240 volt circuit in an installation using 14.2 NMD90. And the circuit will carry uh, 20 amps at 2% voltage drop. So what I would do is I would always use the same formula to solve this. And I like to write the formula in the same way always. I write it like this. I have my 1000. And remember, that's just a conversion factor between meters and kilometers times voltage drop is equal to K. And I do this a little bit differently than the, than the book does it, than the code book does it, because I just want to bring a little bit of clarity to it that this is a derated K, derated by note three. I put it there so that I remember to derate it by note three uh, times a factor of note two times the current, which is in amps, times what? Um, times length, which is what we're solving for in meters in this particular problem. And in this case, we do know voltage drop is equal to 240 volts. It's going to be no more than, no more than, so less than or equal to is, is technically what this should say, is no more than 2%, which means 0 0.02. So I'm just putting voltage drop in a decimal form there. And that means that the voltage will drop no more than 4.8 volts. Now, uh, also we know K, K, uh, with its derating factor is going to be from table D3, the table we love. I'm going to assume copper. I am going to assume a power factor of 100%. So I just like to say power factor equals one. I'm going to assume uh, it is 14 gauge. I will look at that row in the table. And from there, if I were to go over to my table, I would see the row for 14 gauge and then the column for power factor equals one in copper will give me a value sitting there in a cube. And it'll say, it's way, way at the top and it'll say K equals, 10.2, and we should remember the units on that ohms per meter. I didn't put it in here. Ohms per kilometer, sorry. It's per kilometer. The code book is right, it's per kilometer. Uh, but the D rating factor uh, for 90 degrees, 90 degrees Celsius because it's NMD 90 is equal to 1.05. Therefore, K derated according to note three is going to be 10.2 times 1.05. ohms per kilometer. All right, so I think that's everything we know. Uh, voltage drop, yes, 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 yes. And then we're just gonna solve for L. So let's rearrange this equation and solve for L. L is in meters has to be less than or equal to. It's nice to put our less than or equal to because that's really what it means. You don't have to make this circuit exactly however meters that we come up with. Now, in order to get the L, we just divide through the other side and our equation should look like this. 
It's an algebraic experiment at this point. Takes a thousand meters per kilometer uh, voltage drop. I'll, I'll just write the whole equation. Drop, because I, I did have actually, I gave you full marks for it, but I did have a very uh, astute student do this um, upside down. Actually, they were solving for K and they put the whole equation upside down. Um, the code book kind of gives you the answer. K okay, D rated three because it it rearranges all the equations for you as if the, there's there's six different equations. It probably looks like a primary printing here because of the pen I'm using. Here we go. So L will less than or equal to 1000. And then we just sub in. I'll try to do that a bit faster for you. Our voltage drop was 4.8 volts. And our K is gonna be that 10.2 ohms per kilometer. And then that's gonna be multiplied by uh, 1.05 because it's at 90 degrees. No units there. It's going to be multiplied by two because uh, F at note two in the code is equal to two. And then it's gonna be multiplied by 20 amps is our I. And that's it because we are solving for L. If I put that all in my calculator, um, if you're using a cell phone, you kind of have to do the top and the bottom. Good calculators have sort of gone from our lives and be replaced with cell phones uh, that don't have brackets easily. I prefer a reverse Polish notation calculator, but those are very rare now. There is an app for the HP 48G, uh, which is a lovely reverse Polish notation calculator. That's what I would use. And you certainly wouldn't have to do extra lines like this, but it's not bad showing you the units anyway, because on the top, I actually have meters over kilometers and I have a voltage. So I have this strange unit of voltage times meter over kilometer on the top. And on the bottom, I have this strange unit of ohms times amps over kilometer. Uh, then when I calculate all of that, I, it then gives me 11.2. Uh, now, I'm going to just put these same units in. Meters times volts over kilometer was in the numerator. And if this is in the if these units are in the denominator, then I need to swap them around to put them in the numerator and kilometer will be at the top. And amp, sorry, ohms times amp is at the bottom. And then we remember, oops, it's not there for, it's uh, recall, V equals I R, the units for V is voltage the units for I is amp, the units for R is ohm. So an amp times an ohm is a volt. And I really like you to carry on your, carry your, um, these uh, units all the way through because when you carry your units through, then it checks you for some answers, right? It checks whether you're right or not, or whether you applied the equation right. Uh, some of you should have carried your units and then actually most people don't carry their units when they're doing their code because it's not really carried in the code book. Um, but if you carry your units, you would see that you have made some mistakes. So ohms times amps is a volt that crosses out with that volt. Kilometer crosses out with this kilometer, which then gives you 11 Point two, you're left only with a meter. And that's the final answer is 11.2 meters.